welcome everyone in this video we are going to discuss the remaining three uh, programs we have already learned how to in a previous video we have already seen how we can read and display elements of an array and then we have seen how to search an element in an array and display its position so in this video we are going to find the smallest number in an array and display its position Similarly, we are going to find out the largest number in an array and display its position. And the last program is to merge two arrays. Let us go to Dave C. Plus. We need to find out the largest element in an array and display its position. So, first let us see what will be the output of this program. So, the output will be enter the array size. Suppose you are entering four elements, then enter array elements so we will be entering suppose uh, four elements here now you need to find out the largest element here so the largest element is 23 so you will write uh, largest element is present in first location suppose okay so the largest element is present in first location so wherever it is present you need to display the location so this is the output of our program so now we are going to write down the program accordingly so how many variables you need for this program one is for the size then another for the array to keep the elements since we will be using array so we will be need using for loop so for that one one more variable for the for loop and finally to display the largest element we will need one more variable so first let the array be of size 10 you can give any size you want then n is the number array size then for to display the largest element we will use the uh, suppose we are going to use the variable lar that's it now we need to display this line enter the array size so we will write down syntax enter the array size use scanf percentage d comma which variable is having the size <coughs> n okay now we need to enter the array elements so we will just write down printf enter array elements okay so in order to enter array elements you will be using for loop i have already explained it in the previous video so i equal to zero how many elements n elements okay so here it will be scanf percentage d comma ampersand a of i so we have entered the elements so these two lines till this part it is over now we will do the, write the code to display the largest element. So what we are going to do is that first of all we will pick up the first element and put it in the variable large. Then we are going to compare the large with each of the elements and try to find if there is any element which is larger than that. So uh, to better explain it let us modify it. Suppose this is our array okay. So first of all we are going to keep the first element in the variable large. So what we are going to write lar equal to how do you refer to the first element? This is a of 0, this is a of 1, this is a of 2 and this is a of 3. So this first element is known as a of 0. So when we write lar equal to a of 0 then the first element will be stored in the variable lar. Now we are going to enter the array and check each element with if there is any element which is greater than lar and then we are going to swap it. So to enter the array we are going to write for i equal to 0, i less than how many elements and i plus plus. Okay. So now we are going to check if so each and every element we are going to check with this variable lar. So if a of i is greater than large so what we are going to do we are going to make that element large so we are going to make 
r equal to a of i okay and we need to uh, display the position also where the largest element is present so for that let us use one more uh, variable called pos so let us make it pos equal to i okay so what will happen here so first of all this is i equal to 0 0 is less than here what is the size 4 0 is less than 4 so we are going to enter the loop if a of 0 is greater than so what is the first element see, see here what we are having we are having this let us explain it so here we are having lar equal to 2 now for i equal to 0 0 is less than 4 so we are entering what is a of 0 2 is 2 greater than 2 is 2 greater than 2 no so we are not going to enter this part we are simply going to increment the value of i so now i is equal to 1 now 1 is less than 4 again we are going to enter what is a of 1 4 4 is greater than lar or not 4 is greater than lar means 2 2 is the value of lar yes or no yes so we are going to enter the loop so what we are going to do we are going to make lar equal to a of 1 what is a of 1 4 so now the new value of lar is 4 and what is the position pos equal to what is the value of i i means 1 okay this one we made but we will have to keep on going through the loop till we reach the end of the array now again i equal to 2 now now 2 is less than 4 again you enter what is a of 2 a of 2 is 12 is 12 greater than lar what is the value of lar we got 4 right is 12 greater than 4 yes so we are going to enter the loop again so what is the new value of lar now lar is equal to a of 2 what is a of 2 12 so now new value of lar is 12 and position is equal to 2 okay so after that again we are going to increment the value of i now i is equal to 3 3 is less than 4 we will enter what is a of 3 a of 3 is 8 is 8 greater than lar what is the value of lar 12 no so we are not going to enter the loop so finally again i equal to 4 now 4 is not less than 4 so we are going to come out of this loop so finally what does the what is the final value of lar the final value of lar is 12 and where it is present it is present in the second position why it is showing as 2 because we have started from 0 so while displaying we will have to give it as pos plus 1 so we will write down printf largest element is percentage d and its position is percentage d so where is the largest element present in the variable large so i'll just write down lar and where is the position pos pos is the variable which is having the position but i'll give plus one why because we are starting from zero but when i tell this is the largest element element i will say third position not second position okay so that's why i have given it as plus one so that's it so just delete this part and then save it just give some name and then run it okay we got some error yes i forgot to give the name here so just give the name save it and then again run it i have forgotten to de uh, declare variable i so the good thing is that whenever you are committing some errors it shows the error so array size let it be 4 elements be these are the four elements so the largest element is 78 and its position is 3 okay so this is how you are going to write down the program i hope the program is clear to everyone so this is the program now we are going to see how to find out the smallest element in an array and display its position. It is exactly similar to the previous uh, program that we did. So just we will make some minor changes 
let us make it as small enter the array size will be same enter the elements will be same here in place of large we are using the variable small so small will contain the smallest the first element now while checking instead of checking whether the element is greater than large or not we are going to check if there is any number which is smaller than this variable small so if we find any element we will make that element small exactly the procedure is same just with little bit of difference this okay just save it so these are the modifications that we did the rest of the program is exactly same okay so here it will be smallest element is percentage d and its position is d just save it and then run it okay so let the array size be suppose 5 enter the elements okay these are the elements so you see the smallest element is 4 and it is present in and its position is 2 okay so this is how you are going to write down the program in this program we are going to uh, merge two arrays so first of all let us see the output so the output will be enter size of array 1 suppose we are giving the size as 3 so enter array 1 elements so we will enter three elements let it be this now enter size of array 2 suppose again two elements are there enter array 2 elements so you will enter two elements here okay now finally merge array is so after merging the two arrays your you should display like this 32 4 6 67 and 23 so this is the output of your array so based on this we are going to write down the program so let's go to the coding part so first of all we are going to declare the header file hash cute stdio.h write down name so the first part is almost same so how many variables we will need for this particular program size of the to store the size of array 1 then to store array 1 elements then size of array 2 then store the elements of array 2 and then one more array to store the merged array so total in total three arrays we will need let it be <coughs> of 10 and you can give the third array which one will be the merged array little bit uh, big size then n1 let be the size of array 1 n2 size of array 2 and one more and for we'll be using for loop so one more variable i and then if needed any more variables we will keep adding here okay so first of all we need to display this line enter the size of array 1 so we are going to write down printf enter size of array 1 so give scanf percentage d which variable is having the size of array 1 ampersand n1 okay now we are going to enter the array elements that is enter array 1 elements so we will just write down enter array 1 elements now give for loop i equal to 0 how many elements in the first array n1 elements i plus plus give then we are going to give the scanner this one we i have already explained in the previous videos also so ampersand a of i a is the a is my array uh, name of the array where i'll be storing the first element uh, array elements of array 1 similarly i will just copy this one exactly the same thing i will be doing for array 2 so enter the size of array 2 
so in place of n1 i am using variable n2 then enter array two elements so here n2 is the size and here b is the array where i will be storing the second array so till this part i have completed now i need to write down the code in order to merge the two arrays okay okay so first of all the array the third array where i'll be merging the first two arrays what will be the size of the third array so for that i'm going to use one more variable uh, let it be uh, suppose n3 okay so let n3 be the size of the third array so what will be the value of n3 the size of the third array will be the size of the first array plus size of the second array so this is my this is the size of my final array merged array okay n3 so first of all i am going to take the elements of array 1 and place it to array c that is i am going to take the elements of a and put it in c so what i need to write down for how many elements in the first array i equal to 0 i less than n1 i plus plus okay so th this much animals uh, elements are there in the first array array a so that one those elements i am going to put it in array c so what i am going to write c of i equal to a of i that's it so what will happen here so what will happen here c of 0 so i equal to 0 0 n1 what is the size of n1 3 0 is less than 3 I am going to enter so c of 0 is equal to a of 0 so c of 0 what is the value present in c of 0 a of 0 what is a of 0 32 okay then i plus plus so i equal to 1 1 is less than 3 again you enter then c of 1 is equal to a of 1 so what is a of 1 4 similarly c of 2 is equal to a of 2 so a of 2 is 6 now the value of i will become 3 3 is less than 3 no so i will stop so what are the elements present in my final merged array 32 4 and 62 all that is these three elements already added now the task is to add the remaining two elements so what i am going to do there let's see so we are going to for that we will be taking one more variable which will store this value of 2 because I need to store it from 3. Now, from the, the array, the elements of array 2 should be stored in C of 3, C of 4, like that, right? So, what I am going to do is that I am going to take another variable. So, let the variable be suppose k. You can take any variable you want. And what will k hold? k will hold the next value from where we need to store the remaining elements so k will be value of n1 so what is the value of n1 just write it like this you may uh, it might sound confusing now so later on we will see how why it is done now i am going to store the elements of the second array uh, to after this point to the array c after this point so how many elements are there in the second array what is the size of the second array n2 so i'll just write down n2 i plus plus so here what i'm going to do is that now in which position c from in c of 0 c of 1 c of 2 already filled up now i need to store from c of 3 the second array so what is c of 3 c of k what is the value of n1 so here i'll have to write down c of k i'll tell you why i'll write it like this we need to write it like this and k too. so why i'm writing here like this you see what is the value of k here k is equal to n1 n1 means size of array 1 which is 3 now 0 i equal to 0 0 is less than n2 is 2 2 so i'm going to enter the loop now c of k is equal to b of i what is c of k c of 3 that's why i have given it as size of the last the size of n1 so c of 3 is equal to b of 0 what is b of 0 this is array 2 right b of 0 is 67 
then again you do k plus plus so the value of k will become how much it was 3 now it will become 4 okay then again here i plus plus i is 1 now it was 0 now 1 1 is less than 2 again i will enter c of k c of k means c of 4 c of 4 is equal to what b of 1 what is b of 1 23 so enter 23 then again you make k plus plus means k will become 5 again you make i plus plus now i is 2 2 is less than 2 is it true no so we will stop so finally what is c containing this is my array so what are the values present in c elements of the first element array plus elements of the second array so ultimately i have merged the two arrays so finally i can display the merged array so i can write down printf merged array is now again to display the merged array also i will have to use for loop so for i equal to 0 what is the size of the array c that is the merged array entry i have already written it earlier plus plus all of you know how to display the array right so i'll just write down printf percentage d comma where is the what is the array where the merged elements are present c so c of i okay that's it so we will delete this part okay so this is your final array okay so just save it and run it so let the size of array 1 be 3 so enter some elements enter the elements size of array suppose four elements there they're there so these are the elements so the merged array is this one you can see three elements then four elements so we have completed all the uh, programs uh, for one dimensional array so in case if you want to know any more uh, programs from one dimensional array you can write in the comment thank you